the I'm sitting across the man I've been watching on TV every night for the last couple of months, uh, George Columbaris. Welcome to Cape Town. Th- thank you so much. Uh, George is, of course, uh, a restaurateur and chef in his own right, a rock star of the kitchen, really. But he's here to be part of the Good Food and Wine show happening at uh, the convention centre this week. Well, what are you going to be doing at the show? We'll, you know, I guess show show everyone what what we're all about. Only people know George from the TV, but uh, first and foremost, I'm a chef. Mm. And secondly, I'm, I'm a restaurateur. So um, we'll be doing some dishes out of my new cookbook. And as well as that, we'll be doing some dishes that we're, we're looking at, uh, we're, that we have on the menu at the press club um, mm-hmm. in Melbourne. So some stuff that people can, can, I guess, achieve at home, but also some aspirational um, dishes that people can look at. And, and, and realise they uh, could never do that at home. Well, you know, <laughs> you go to a, a great restaurant because obviously you can't cook that stuff at home mm. and you go there for the experience and the whole the whole package so my daughter jenna is 12 big big fan of yours but she wants to know if you have a favorite dish cooked for you Po did these incredible little um sort of glutinous dumplings that were amazing i think that's why the show resonates to so mm. many people around the world i mean it's on in over 180 countries and they love it because it is so multicultural and diverse that they can hang their hat on someone um, you know, th- this year, I mean, we had Nidhi who gave us. Oh, you haven't seen you see yeah, yet. Yeah, careful now. <laughs> there was there's We've a girl called Nidhi. C- okay, we'll watch on, out on for her. On series yeah. eight, look out for her because some of her curries are mind blowing. And like si- the most simplest things, like mm. um, you know, a, a, a chicken curry with black pepper, and you go, how did you get that depth of flavour into something so with simple? Such simple ingredients, yeah. yeah. Exactly. We were having a conversation last week, George, about what we should feed you today. Yeah. Yep. Lots of ideas on, on some nice, good local dishes that you should try out. And uh, I got a call from a young uh, up and coming chef who's got a, a company with a couple of uh, sort of food stalls at markets who said, I think I need to cook some good Cape mussels for George. Oh, wow. Are you fond of mussels? Well, I'm very excited about that. And, and knowing that, obviously, they're local. They um, are from Soldana Bay, just up the West Coast. That's super exciting. Exciting. We may. Carl, Indeed. tell us what you've cooked for John. We produce the most fantastic mussels over here. And what I love about them as well is it's the most sustainable mm. seafood product that you mm. can actually get, that along with oysters. So the little balls that we've got over there are actually called, um, they're called fetkuk in Afrikaans. And in Klosa, we call them amagwinya, which okay. is basically, it's, it's literally just bread, which is rolled into a ball. And then we deep fry them <gasps> and they puff up. Yum! <laughs> so How do the mussels compare oh, to uh, the ones you, know you what? did? You know what? Perfectly, perfectly cooked in terms of plump, juicy, delicious. And a little muscle fact for you, but d- d- the difference between a, a muscle that has a orange tinge mm. to a muscle that has a white tinge is um, the ones with white tinge are male muscles and the red tinge are female muscles. So, there you sorry, go. ladies. Muscle fact for you: you <laughs> okay. never, you never know. You might need a, 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 a trivia night one day. You never know. Um, but but what's they are super delicious and juicy. Okay, well, we couldn't let you leave Cape Town without a, a good Cape Town dessert. Yeah. And that is more sort of almost like a bready donut oh filling, God. but with spicing and and. Mm. The spices and that should be amazing. Oh, I wish I wish we uh, will be are filming this. I'm going to have to share with you the look on George's face wow. right now. <laughs> wow, yum, yum. What do you think? No, okay. can I just, I'll just hang out here all day. <laughs> George, it's been great having you with us. Thanks Thank so much for so making much. such a big chunk of time available. No, and I uh, uh, hope lots of the listeners will come down and see you at the uh, convention centre this weekend for the Good Food and Wine Show. Thank you. Love it. Enjoy your time in South Africa. It's great to have you back.